Here's everything you need to know about the prison map in Phasmophobia. We're gonna talk about everything in one go, like hiding spots, breaker locations, and cursed items. I usually divide this into four parts, but since this is a big map, we're gonna talk everything in one go. First things first, let's increase the brightness so that you guys can see better. Let's talk about the cursed item locations because every single one of them will spawn at the start. There's going to be a music box right here, tarot cards and voodoo doll. Those three things will spawn in this table somewhere. And the avager board will spawn right there. The haunted mirror will spawn like right there somewhere. And the summoning circle will spawn right here. Alright, first let's cover everything to the left and make our way to the right and then we can go upstairs. Sounds good? Alright, let's think about this in a prison perspective. So if you want to visit someone in a prison, like for example, let's say you are visiting a Bob. So you usually come here, do the inspection and the inspection staff is going to be here, right? This is the inspection room, as you can see. Alright, you go through the inspection and you wait here, right, and then you go to the visits. This is where you meet Bob in our example. So you sit here and talk to the Bob and Bob is obviously on the other side, right? Let's go see that. So for that we have to go here, let's open this. We have to go to the first left side, which is this one. Alright, when you enter here, this is going to be visitation security. Right, and the breaker will spawn right here. One of the breaker spots is going to be right here, visitation security. Alright. And Bob will come from there, right? Walk into the visitation hallway. This is visitation hallway. And talk to the people there we go easy way to remember right all right now this is visitation hallway all right we are in the general hallway um this is just a this is just a way to upstairs so we're not going to talk about that now so yeah bob has to come from the prison cell right there's gonna be A block and B block. So let's go to the A block. Since we are covering from the left side. Alright, as we make our way to the A block, there's gonna be a bathrooms. This is gonna be a bathroom for the A block prisoners. All the A block people will come here. Alright. Let's go to the A block now. This is A block hallway. And let me go to the A block. This is a huge prison cell. And if you can remember this, the exact same is true for the B block. And there is going to be an office room in the A block. And the breaker will spawn here. Alright, this is a security control. To be exact and you can turn on all the lights once you turn on on the lights as you can see you can see everything so let's quickly go upstairs to the cell blocks all of these are cell blocks by the way these are all same let's quickly check out this one so we don't have to check out the b block this is just to give a, give an idea. Every single cell block is same. Like if you see one cell block, that's it. That's true for every single one. All of them. All of this is hallway. As you can see. Alright, let's go to the security control room and turn off the lights because we don't want to break the breaker. Alright. And at the end of the uh, A block, there is going to be door here 
where you can exit and the prisoners will chill here i think yep play some basketball and chill and the same is true for the b block which is right there so let's quickly turn off everything because we're gonna have to use so many lights here to understand there is a control room right here and yes there is a control room for the b block and that's where you turn on on the lights let's turn off all this there we go all of them are turned off let's turn off this now the light switches in the prison map is a bit tricky because as you can see there is no light in this hallway right but you can actually turn on the light let me show you so this is where we come from this is the bathroom this is where we come from right so if i go right here to the other side this is a cafeteria a huge cafeteria both a block and b block people will come here to eat i guess and let me turn on the light and a lot of people don't know where the light is so let me show you this room right here is called central control room and this is where you turn on all the lights for example as you can see the outside lights are on and if i turn on this that will turn on the cafeteria lights and this will turn on the library which we're gonna talk about now so remember when you enter here this is gonna be a central control room and next to that is gonna be a library huge library i guess both a block and b block people will come here to read and i guess you can hide here but not 100 percent safe of course we don't want to break the breaker so i'm going to turn off the library lights yeah central control room is where you turn on like most of the lights like the hallway lights cafeteria lights everything all right let's go to the cafeteria let's have a look look at this giant cafeteria you can actually go there by the way we're going to talk about when we go to upstairs all right this is going to be like kitchen area like cafeteria kitchen you can even go through here and there is a hiding spot here if you want to hide all right let's close this this is just a giant cafeteria that's it there's nothing to there's nothing to look for all right let's close this let me turn off the light so that we are good i don't have to load into other map all right here we go let's even turn off this light i'm gonna keep these hallway lights because well that's important right this is the library we talked about that so if i go to the end of the hallway this is the b block and this is the b block bathrooms let's quickly look here all the b block prisoners will have a shower here i guess cool now let's go to the b block b block hallway everything here is same exactly identical to the a block so let me turn on the lights for you this is a control room security room interesting thing is the breaker will not spawn here i don't know why i think i brought a breaker no okay cool i was so scared i think i did maybe not hold on let me do that again ting 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 yeah i think we blew out a breaker dang it all right it's fine so uh, we already saw the a block right it's exactly same but the only difference in the b block is the toilets we can hide behind here i don't think you can do that in a block but in b block you can do this so you can hide in any of the cells 
and there is upstairs you can go upstairs from end of the hallway right here you can go upstairs so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna try to turn on the breaker let me first turn off all these lights so let's turn on all turn off all these lights so that we don't have to come back here to turn off let's do this so hopefully we didn't trip the breaker and the breaker is fine so if I go to here I can actually exit and go to the A block from outside remember huge place to play I guess if I go to over there we can actually go to A block let's do that let's turn on the breaker all right here we go please don't tell me we broke the breaker that would be really sad I'm gonna have to exit this map and come back please don't please all right that's a good sign the breaker is off there we go let me turn on one of this yep we didn't trip the breaker cool all right I think we covered everything downstairs except the right side I guess let's go let's quickly go there go here and there is a a block bathrooms remember and the hallway lights are turned off for some reason we went this way let's do a little recap I guess this is a cafeteria right and this is a central control room this is library and then at the end of this hallway is gonna be B block bathrooms and the B block itself okay cool now uh, if I go here I'm gonna end up in the entrance right hold on let me turn on this light so that I can show you hiding spot right here there we go uh, you see that lockers this is pretty cool I think there is only one set of lockers I mean there is one here and there is one upstairs and that's it those are the two sets of lockers available in prison which I'm gonna show you the other set so yeah you can hide here all right the only thing I didn't show you is to the when you enter the house to the right side I didn't show you so let's do that all right I'm back at the entrance so we talked everything about the left side so let's go to the right side this is called admin hallway apparently and this is reception this is reception I guess you can there is an officer here you can talk to him if you want to meet the Bob of course there is no hiding spots there all right let's close this uh, interesting thing is if you go here this is where the locker is remember there you go this is where the locker is these are all connected and if I go to this one this is where the B block is and the B block bathrooms oh all right I think we covered everything downstairs so we're gonna have to now go to the upstairs let me quickly turn off all these lights and then we can go all right guys this is the entrance right we're going right side and upstairs I'm gonna leave this light on because it also affects here so yeah you can go to upstairs in two ways so one way is gonna be when you enter the uh, house I mean a prison to the right and this is where we come from and you can go to the left which I already showed you but I will show you one more time later all right when you come upstairs you go straight just don't take any turns or there is no room here so I guess there's that just go straight and there is a light here let me turn it on hallway we come from here right just go straight and this room is going to be chief security office and yes there is going to be a breaker in this room and the ghost is also here apparently all right there's going to be a breaker in this room chief security office all right i'm gonna leave this hallway light and all of this is hallway like all of this is hallway so we missed two doors which is this one and this one right 
So this one is chief security office, we know that. And this one is main office, bunch of computers, main office. And this one is office toilet. Yep, office toilet, we don't have to look there. Yes, these are all hiding spots, by the way. You can hide there. All right, you can see that door. These Both of these doors are connected and both of them are main office. Let me go through them. As you can see, these are all connected and I would come from here. Cool. We covered everything here, right? So let's go this way. And there is a light here. Yep. This is one way to come upstairs. So we're going to do that. Or we're going to leave this way. We come from there and we covered everything there. So now we are entering here. And this is one of the ways to come up, of course. All right, let's go this way. This section is all about, I think, infirmary. If I can find a light. Yep. Hold on, let me see if I can find a light. All right, there we go. We got the light. So uh, let me go here. This is the hallway. And this is second way to come upstairs. We came from that way. All right, when we come here. This is called infirmary hallway. Every prison needs infirmary, right? So this is one of the places where the breaker can spawn. I don't know what this room is called. I have no clue, but the breaker will spawn right here. And this is infirmary hallway. And this right here is warden's office. You see that? Warden's office. And yes, the breaker will spawn in the warden's office. There are so many breaker spawns. And I think this is the last one. So in the upstairs itself, there are three uh, breaker locations. One is warden's office and one is right there. Right in this small room. And one is in the chief security office that I showed you a couple of minutes ago. So yeah, three breaker locations upstairs and two breaker locations downstairs. If you remember currently, one is in the A block security room and the other one is at the entrance where the visitation security is. So yeah. Alright, we covered everything here, but except this room, which is infirmary. And we're going to talk about this later. So let's go to the infirmary. This is a basic infirmary. Let's turn on the light. As you can see, bunch of beds. You can, you can hide if you want behind the beds. But remember I told you there are only two lockers in the entire map. Here is the second one. There we go, you can hide there. And this is also infirmary. There we go. I guess you can hide here, but there is no lockers here. If you want, you can hide. This room and this room both are infirmary. So yeah, let's close this. And let's also close this. With this, we covered like 90% of prison, if not 95. All right, we're back at the infirmary hallway. The only thing we have to cover is this way. All right, this little hallway is called infirmary hallway. Same for that one. That is also called infirmary hallway. Let me turn on the light. All right, this right here is called a security office or cafeteria security. Yep, I think it's called cafeteria security. So, Remember I told you we can come here. This is where the uh, cafeteria is. And there is a hiding spot which you can hide behind these trash cans right here. Okay, I forgot I told you I would show you the other way to come upstairs. So let's do that. If I go here, this is one of the ways to come upstairs. Remember this visitation security that I talked about and the next door to the visitation security is where you can go upstairs. Yep. I think I covered everything. Hold on. Uh, this is the entrance. You can go that way to go upstairs and the way that I showed you right now. So yeah, I think I covered everything. I covered hiding spots, breaker locations, covered the entire map 
and cost items yep i covered everything so yeah thank you so much for watching and i did this little guide for every single map and i'm gonna leave the link in the description for the playlist yep i think i did this for every single map except asylum because they're gonna change the asylum to sunny meadows anyway so there is no point of doing that so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye